Hi, this is Mr. Payton. Welcome to Mindset. Today's question is, what do you want to become or what do you want to do when you get older? Um, the last part of that older means that we're talking about young people, but this obviously applies to anyone who is looking at a career change or wants to do something different. I think we have to start with two basic questions, though. What should you do based on your abilities and talents, as well as your desire to live a certain lifestyle, as opposed to what you want to do? As an educator, often, you know, we ask young people, what do you want to be when you grow up? You ask little kids, you want to be, they say things like astronaut or they'll say something like an engineer. You know, you ask boys almost, you know, probably eight out of 10 times, they're going to say some type of athlete or entertainer. Because those are attractive um, professions and they get a lot of attention. But what I really try to get young people to focus in on is what are you actually good at? Like find a job or find a career that you'll actually enjoy. Um, <clears throat> if you've ever been in a middle school classroom, you'll see a lot of doodling, um, a lot of writing of words along the edges of the paper. And so for me, I don't shut that down. I walk around and I look at it and sometimes they'll hide it from me. I'll say, no, that's okay. As long as you're doing your work, you're fine. And they kind of smile and look at me. And so as I see what they're doodling, sometimes they're writing poems. Sometimes they're doodling little flowers. Other times they're drawing little characters they invented. The point is, is that they're doing whatever it is their mind is taking them to. And then I start to probe and I ask questions and I say things like, well, why are you drawing that? Or do you like drawing? Uh, and then they, some, sometimes you get lucky and they'll pull out their sketchbook or sometimes you get lucky and they'll pull out their journal where they've been writing and things like that. The point I'm trying to make is that I try to tap into where their interests are instead of saying, hey, go take this job because it makes money or has a level of prestige. We are now learning the power or the influence of being happy or being in a good place. For a long time, our, our society just said, do this and make it work. And now we're starting to tap into the idea that we need to find something that brings us joy, that brings us fulfillment, that, that more importantly gives us value as a human being. And so uh, as we talk to young people or to people who are in transition, I believe the first question is, is what do you enjoy? What are you interested in? And I think that will yield us a much better result. So moving forward through that, how do you go about addressing that? Well, again, if you go back to young people, you start to try to get them to develop those skill sets. Say, look, if you're going to draw, draw all the time. If you want to be a musician, sing all the time. Start studying others. That, to me, is where I start to find the disconnect. So often, um, as a coach, I'll ask my players, you know, they'll tell me their favorite team is this or their favorite player is that. And so on a given Monday, after there's been a weekend of sports, my, my question will be, so did you guys see the game? No. What were you doing? Playing video games or looking at TikTok. And that's where I see the disconnect. So you love the game, you say. You're interested in playing it at the next level, but you never watch it. That's where the disconnect is for me as an educator slash coach slash mentor, on and on and on. If you want to be good at something, you have to put the time in. That time includes actually working on the craft, but also studying the craft. And for our young people who have the, you know, the way we can cover sports now, the angles, the replays, all this stuff, they're getting a master level class on looking at film in, in, in that capacity in terms of being able to understand all the nuances of, of sports. If you're a musician, there's so many behind the scenes videos out there now you can see how people warm up their voice and what it takes to get there and we get to see their journeys now because a lot of these people will become famous on social media and then they become stars but i find it fascinating that so many people are not even spending time immersing themselves into the things that they say they're interested in and so i really try to encourage that i try to talk to them about the idea that hey watch certain people listen to certain things that be, that is your homework you don't like school homework okay fine i mean you know trust me i'm a teacher i want to do my work but if you're into music then that's your homework to study the best singers if you're into sports then that's your homework to watch the best players but the idea that you're going to sit around and, and scroll on social media and listen to music and hang out and play video games but not putting time into your craft 
it's not going to happen. And so I never try to go a route of being negative with them, but I just try to say, look, I'm an educator. I, I go to conferences. I do research. I, I, I try to find different ways to become a better educator on a regular basis. I'm 25 years in the game, and I'm constantly trying to get better. And the idea that you're 10 or 11 and that you don't watch NFL games, but you want to be a wide receiver for the Cardinals doesn't make any sense to me. So as we think about what it is you want to become or what you want to do, I think it's important that we understand that first and foremost, try to find something that's very interesting to you, something that brings you joy, but then go all in on trying to become that. Like immerse yourself in that world, and I think you'll yield great results. My name is Mr. Payton. I'm an educator, I'm a motivator, um, just a lover of learning. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you push that like button, and I hope that you subscribe to this channel. Have a wonderful day.